We have reached week seven here on Prep Sports Extra. As always, joined by HubCityPreps.com's Randy Rosetta. Coronado football starting to get right at the right time, right? A couple of wins. DJ Mann opens up his district career with a victory. They've, what have they figured out at this point of the season? You mentioned not just a, a win, but went up to Amarillo, beat Paladero, but mm -hmm. started out 4 0. Really nice win. 34 to 8 was not a real close yeah. game. A couple of things. Jet Carroll has settled in at quarterback. You know, following Sawyer Robertson's not easy. <laughs> And he's not the same kind of kid build-wise, but he's found that he hasn't thrown an interception the last couple of weeks. That's a big key. He's got some nice weapons, Antonio Malone, Trevor Stevens, nice receiving core, big surprises, Coronado. Mm -hmm. But the biggest key recently has been the defense. You've got Nigel Braithwaite, John Curry, DeAndre Lewis. Those guys have all kind of tightened up a little bit and aren't giving up a whole bunch, getting that offense back out on the field. So Coronado's starting to look like a team that, we talked about Monterey being a possible contender, Coronado now steps into that team that, or as is, is that team that could maybe give Amarillo High and Tascosa some trouble. Love a Cooper football, a bye week leading into district play, and we forget they made that long trip down to El Paso. Yes. Got a got an easy victory, but it seems like it's been a while since Chip Darden's team's been on the field. Their district always does that. They'll play five, mm -hmm. have a bye week, do the five district games. It's just nicely divided yep. up. If you throw that El Paso trip in there, where they're kind of out of sight, out of mind, had a lot of injuries, played a lot of young guys. A lot of those guys are coming back, probably most prominently quarterback Holt Gibson is ready to get back in the saddles, missed the last couple of games. He makes that offense go. They're not dynamic in general, but Holt's got some things that he can do to kind of keep them going. Coulter Lynch, a kid who transferred from Panhandle, big offensive lineman, hasn't played at all this year. He's scheduled to, to get on the field against Plainview. And then you're going to see Caleb Stripling and Cooper Morris probably back in action. That's probably their most dynamic running back and their most dynamic receiver. So all the parts are starting to come together a little bit for the Pirates. Taps team that caught your eye this past week. Kingdom Prep, kind of off the beaten path there, but Kingdom Prep played for the state championship last year. Had some struggles early in the year. Also had some injuries in six-man football. When you have some injuries, that <laughs> takes a quick toll. Yeah. Now, they've got 22 players, which is big for a six-man team. They played a lot of freshmen early lost to a couple of, Anton was one of their losses, of course, a, a top 10 UIL team. Mm -hmm. They're kind of finding it. Last week, they went down to Abilene, beat Abilene Christian 50 to 44. That's a team that beat them in the regular season last year. They came back and beat them in the state semifinal. So that's a pretty notable win. Ben Lashaway, uh, Samuel Griffith, those two guys make them go. As always, helmets, stickers, standings, and stats all updated on the website as well. Randy, as always, thanks. Thanks for having me, man.